Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here and welcome to today's two minute message. I want to share something with you that I talk to people about all the time, but I have to keep reminding people because I think if you don't remember this, it begins to not like you lose it over time. It's simply this, that God can't love you more and God won't love you less. And listen, for each one of us, because we're aware of our failings and because we live in a fallen world, nobody else loves us the way God loves us. For, you know, it, it's amazing because like sometimes when I'll, I'll say something, I always end up getting somebody who gets mad at me like, this is fluff. No, no. This is the Bible. The Bible says, most famous verse in the Bible, John three sixteen. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, for God didn't just love the world, he so loved the world. Now, the world in the Bible is not the earth. The world is, 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 a, is a word that is used for a, a whole system of living that rejects God. For God so loved the whole system that does not accept God that he gave his only begotten son that who, whosoever of that world chooses to believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's how the apostle Paul put it. Same idea that God loved us even when we were in rebellion against him. Right, And so God can't love us more and God won't love us less. And when you realize God's love is transformational because Jesus came because of God's love. And it's in the light of God's love that our life gets purified by the Spirit. Because when we believe in Jesus, God knows that we're flawed. I've never had a perfect day in my life. But the Bible doesn't teach that I'm supposed to have a perfect day. The Bible teaches that Jesus has a perfect day. And when I abide in him, his perfect life gets lived through me. And that's the same for everybody. So listen, no matter how much you've screwed up recently, no matter how many mistakes you're making, listen, God still loves you. And you need to connect with the Lord through the finished work of Jesus by the power of the Spirit and let God do the work. And even if everyone else is telling you that they don't love you, that you're not lovable, that, that, that you're worthless, listen, you have so much value to God that he sent Jesus on a rescue mission just for you. If you were the only person who needed it, but you weren't, we all needed it. So listen, God can't love you more and God won't love you less. I want you to share this video because we want everyone to know the who God is and the love that he has for us in Christ. And in the comment section, how are you learning and growing in God's love right now? Go ahead, share it in the comment section and God bless you. Let's, be, let's walk in the reality that we're the beloved of God. See you soon.